Have you ever wanted to play the drums but you don't have the space for a full drum kit or you don't want to annoy your neighbours or you're constantly on the go so you can't carry around a drum kit with you? Well, these drumsticks might change everything. This is the Pocket Drum by Aero Band, and they have actually made a couple of different pocket instruments in the past, including a pocket guitar, which we have two of right here, and I'll explain why in just a bit. And these are a pair of Bluetooth-enabled drumsticks that are said to be a portable, noiseless, and space-saving solution for both professionals and amateurs alike. And as a fully qualified drum amateur, ow, 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 I'm very interested to see how good these things really are. So in the box we get the user manual, handy aero band carry case, a micro USB charging cable with two heads so you can charge both sticks at the same time. Then you've got two wrist straps for both of the drumsticks. And then we have the sticks themselves. And I've got to say, they're pretty swanky looking sticks. I like the matte black finish and it just looks like a futuristic drumstick. It's just cool looking. I also expected them to be a lot heavier, but they're actually quite lightweight. They're pretty much the same weight as your regular old wooden drumsticks. So weight wise, they feel pretty natural to hold. You've got a power button on the front of each stick right here. So let's see what happens when we turn it on. Ooh, ho -ho, liking the LEDs. Ooh, orange LEDs. These drumsticks use Bluetooth 4.0, but despite not being the most up-to-date Bluetooth tech, apparently the latency is only six milliseconds, so it should be pretty unnoticeable. Unlike similar drum tech in the past, you don't need to use a camera, be it a webcam or your phone camera to track your movements. It's purely motion-based. When it comes to battery life, you can get 10 hours of play from a single charge, which is not bad at all. Now to use the Pocket Drum, you're going to need either GarageBand for iOS, or you can use the AeroBand app which is available for both Android and iOS devices. The AeroBand app allows you to jam with a full drum kit using free mode, and it also has a rock band slash guitar hero rest rhythm game, which you can play with level mode and song mode. There's also a limited mode, and I have no idea what that's about, but apparently it's coming soon. And with GarageBand, you can use different drum samples and record tracks, and honestly, it does sound like the better option out of the two, but unfortunately, this iPad is so old, it can no longer update to the latest iOS, so GarageBand is no longer compatible with it, which is a huge bugger. I might have to buy a new iPad. And if I I do, I'll probably make a video on Patreon and actually try and make some loops of these. Ah, there's that haptic feedback. So when you simulate hitting something, it will vibrate. And it does kind of do a good job at simulating hitting a drum or cymbal. It's definitely way better than having nothing, that's for sure. So it wants us to start on level mode in the basement. I guess this is just going to be the tutorial level and then we can just do free mode because I really just want to jam out. Keep your palm down, hold the stick with your thumb and forefinger and wrap the stick with the last three fingers and keep your body relaxed. You need to calibrate before starting each game. Oh, oh, okay. You need to calibrate before starting each game. That's not a good start. Yeah, the latency on this iPad is pretty bad. Ah, I've solved it. Just keep hitting and you won't miss any. Oh, oh, oh. I like the way the music just ends abruptly. That's always the sign of a quality app right there. You need to calibrate before starting each game. I know, you tell me every single time. I need to recalibrate, but I'm halfway through the song. Oh, that was close. We were one off failing that. How many stages are there? Just let me play free mode. At least you have the time before a track starts to actually just jam with these things and see what they're all about. And something I really like about these is that they have a velocity sensor. So depending how- your turn. Shut up. I really like how the velocity sensors built into these things makes it so you can hit the snare really quietly and then build it up. It's fun, I like that. Okay, this is, this is really weird. So in this track, you can hear the original drum in the background and it doesn't match anything I'm doing on the screen. It just feels peculiar. It just kind of throws me off. All right, so that's the first six levels completed. We've now unlocked song mode, but where's free mode? Oh, I need to complete a song on song mode to get free mode. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Okay, we have five songs to choose from. We've got up, down, treasure, crazy, sugar, and salt. That's some interesting song titles they got there. Let's go for crazy. Wait, what? Why does it say twinkle twinkle little star? I'm so confused. All right, let's go, let's go back. What about sugar? No, that says twinkle twinkle little star as well. Let's just go for crazy. Come on, let's see what that's all about. You need to calibrate before starting each game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't copyright strike me, don't copyright. Oh, oh, the music's cut out. It's gone completely silent. That was weird. Gonna be honest, the quality of this app, not looking great so far. Now you unlock the three drums below yeah. in the free mode. If Wait. you want to unlock the three drums above, you can unlock it by completing the second level of the game mode. 
What? So, okay, so I've got free mode, but I can't use all the drums yet. I can just use the snare, bass, and hi-hat. Oh, come on. If I knew these things were just gonna be a video game peripheral, I wouldn't have been that excited. Fine, let's go back onto level mode. Let's go to school, and we've got another nine stages. <sighs> okay. You need to calibrate. Yes. I've done this enough. I know I need to calibrate. Don't get frustrated at the app. Life's too short for that. Just roll with it. I've lost the symbol. The symbol's disappeared. Okay, resync, resync. There we go, there we go. Oh God, I'm so glad that I'm not failing these because I'd hate to have to do them all over again. That song was long. Why does the hi-hat keep disappearing? This is so annoying. Come back, ah! Oh. To calibrate before starting each game. Zero misses, SSS. I am now elite drummer. Thank you very much. It would really make the quality a lot better if they just added a fade at the end of the songs instead of having them just cut out entirely. Just makes it sound really cheap. To calibrate before starting each game. Wait, what the f Just open that up again. Yep, connect the drumsticks. Why is my song in free mode locked again? Sorry, what? <laughs> So song mode is once again locked. Apparently it says I need to complete stages one through six again. And free mode, again, locked and says I need to complete a song on song mode. And on level mode, both the stages are still available. That's, okay, maybe if we complete two of nine, it'll unlock everything again, with any luck. So we now have access to the full drum kit. We've got the snare, hi-hat, bass drum, we've got a crash, we've got a tom in the middle, and then you've got the ride. Finally, it only took about an hour to get to this point. That was pretty good. Just having the addition of the Crash Ride and Tom just makes it a little bit more fun if you ask me. Hey, there we go, song mode's back. And it looks like we've actually got a ton of new songs as well. Wow, all right, we went from five to a, a lot. I also like that they have four categories of songs. They've got Chinese songs, they've got English songs, Japanese and Korean, which is cool to see. I don't think I really see many Japanese songs on apps like this. Ah, uh, ha, ha, I can't believe they have this on here. This is weird. Aoi, aoi, no sola. So if I complete another song on song, mode it'll probably unlock the free mode again and I really want to try that with all the drums so let's do that first before anything else free mode you unlock the three drums below in the free mode if Wait, you no. want to unlock the three drums above you can unlock it by completing the second level of the game mode oh okay if you <laughs> you scare me Ooh, you can add a metronome. And what's this? Oh, access my microphone. Why do I want a microphone? Oh, microphone! I think it's recording my voice right now. Can't really tell. It's not clearly obvious, but it's asked for access to the microphone. All right, stop the recording. What did that do? If you're recording my voice, I feel bad for you because it sounds like ass. Real big ass. So it does have a record function, but it records out the microphone on your device. So you don't exactly get great audio from it. It would be better if it actually just captured the audio straight from the device, but for some reason, they went for the microphone. Now for the true test. If I close this app entirely, just completely close it, and then open it again, sync up the two sticks, pocket drum, and everything's locked again. That's nearly two hours down the drain. I don't wanna have to do that all again. So it's been a day and I've spent quite a few hours with the pocket drum now and I'll be straight with you lot, I'm not that impressed. But let's go over the positives first and hardware wise, I quite like these. The haptic feedback is a nice touch and actually does an all right job at giving you the illusion that you're actually hitting a drum or cymbal. On the old iPad mini 2, the latency is quite bad and it's very noticeable when you're playing level mode and song mode. But when using my newer but still quite outdated Samsung S7, I had no problem at all. Calibrating the sticks is super easy, just hold them over where the snare drum would be, hit the two power buttons and you 
good to go. The only problem is that a kit does tend to move around while you're playing, so from time to time you will need to recalibrate the sticks halfway through a song, which is not ideal. Despite that, I have had some good moments jamming with these, and I do think the tech has a lot of potential to be a good introduction into playing the drums, or they could be a good alternative on-the-go tool to practice with. But unfortunately, the real letdown is the AeroBand app. So if you're an Android user, or the only Apple device you've got kicking around is an old one, and this app is your only option, aka me, prepare for an honestly quite frustrating experience. You should probably grab my notes for this one, because there are quite a few bullet points. Free players and unlocked from the get-go. To unlock it, you need to play the first six tutorial stages on level mode, and even then you only have access to half the drum kit. To unlock the Crash, Tom and Ride, you must complete a further nine stages. And that might not sound so bad, but the real kicker is that if you close the app and open it again, everything you just unlocked is now once again locked. If this was truly designed with professionals in mind, make your free play mode and the full drum kit available straight away. Because I don't think they're going to want to deal with monotonous tutorial levels every single time they fancy a little drum session at the airport. Also, that voice that tells you to calibrate the sticks at the beginning of every single song gets very annoying very fast. But surely the app can't be that bad. It's got a 4.8 on the App Store and a 4.1 on Google Play. Two words. Fake reviews. Funnily enough, there's actually a load of really good popular tracks that you can play on song mode. Just to name a few, you've got tracks from Bon Jovi, Mark Ronson, Little Nas X, R.E.M., The Killers, Blur, Queen, and even Dave Rogers. You know, Dave. The Deja Vu guy. There's also quite a few popular anime tracks like Charla, Hedgehala from Dragon Ball Z, God Knows from Haruhi, Bluebird from Naruto, Rage Your Dream from Initial D, and they even have Promise on a Silent Hill 2 soundtrack on here. But for most of those tracks, it will have you playing a completely different beat to the one that's used in the songs, and you can still hear the original drum track in the background, so it just completely throws you off. And considering how cheap this app feels, I would be surprised if they actually got a license from the artists or the record labels to actually use these tracks in this app. I'm not saying they didn't, I'll just be surprised if they did. So long story short, this app has quite a few flaws. Now right now I'm sure you're all wondering, where are the pedals at? It's not a full drum kit without a pedal for your hi-hat and bass drum. And that's where the pocket guitars come in. Well, these things are tiny. They're actually very close to the actual size of a guitar plectrum. That's quite impressive. These little guys, as well as having their own section in the AeroBand app where you can use them to play guitar, can also be strapped to your feet and used as pedals, which is a pretty smart idea. I'm not going to get into the guitar section of the app in this video, but from what I can tell, they are fairly similar to the Air Jams that I checked out a few months ago, which... Uh wasn't all that great. So let's strap these to my feet and see what happens. So I've got the pocket guitars strapped to my feet. Currently I have them both set as bass drum pedals, so let's give them a whirl. They're quite quiet. Oh, that's better. That's way better. So we currently have both pedals set as bass pedals, but if you want to change one to a hi-hat, all you need to do is press the button on the plectrum itself, and it's changed to a hi-hat. Close hi-hat, open hi-hat. That works surprisingly well. Having the pedals on your feet does make this more of a full drum kit experience, but I just wish there was more to do in free mode. Being able to use different drum samples, having a better way to record your own beats would all be instant improvements for the free mode on this app. But you just get the one drum sample and a pretty mediocre way to record your beats. It's still fun, but the novelty does wear off very quickly just because there's not much variety in the app. As I've said multiple times in this video, these are marketed towards amateurs and professionals alike. But let's be honest here, the pocket drums right now are more like a toy than anything else. I really want to try these out with GarageBand 
could at some point see if that makes them more of a viable tool to make music with. But at the moment, just having access to the Aeroband app, there's really not much you can do with these. This tech does have a lot of potential, but they're going to need to put a lot more work into their app before I can take the pocket drum seriously. If they cost 40 to 60 pounds, I'll probably give these more of a pass, but just the drumsticks alone are going to set you back 100 pounds or 130 dollars. And with the two pocket guitars, 150 pounds or 200 dollars. If you're a professional, I really don't see any benefit in you getting these. And if you're just starting out and you're looking for an alternative to just your regular old acoustic drum kit, you're probably better off spending a bit more and going for something like the Tortec TT12S, which is a fairly compact electric drum kit, which is going to give you a far more authentic drumming experience for about 200 pounds. Of course, the pocket drums are still way more space saving, quiet and portable. But if you actually want to learn how to play the drums, these aren't the way to do it. I'm hopeful that one day the pocket drum will be something worth buying because I do really like the tech, but with the software that it has right now, it just feels like a glorified rock band controller. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pikafu, George Acock, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages and you can also join us on our Discord server. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.